Hello, everybody. <clears throat> when you see this, it'll be a different time. But right now, it's like 5.45 in the morning. Because y'all know, if you know me, I wake up early in the morning. I try to sleep in. But it's Saturday morning. I just couldn't sleep in. So I said, let me go on through the, throw this video together and get y'all ready, get y'all gathered up and ready for the weekend. Okay, because we're getting ready for the weekend. Y'all about to have fun. It's summertime. And I decided, and since I did the rich girl, the rich and unbothered rich girl vibe, let's do the party girl vibe. I got a few fragrances. This is going to be so short for me. I got five fragrances, five party girl fragrances. These are going to take y'all to another level when y'all go out with your party girl fragrance. Let's do this. Now, first off, let's just talk about this look I got going on in the morning. The hair, we're not going to mess with the hair because the hair is, it's morning hair. But I decided to wear this. This is a little cover up I bought from Shein. Look at the sleeves on here, y'all. I love it. Um, I can't, I'm trying to get cuter this summer. Not that I'm not cute in the summer. I don't know. I'm just. Who y'all know I've been going through it and I, I feel like this weight has been lifted because I don't have to think about school. Um, we're in the house. I'm not trying to buy a house like I was last summer because we were talking about it. My last summer was intense and I don't know if y'all noticed, noticed it, but it was kind of intense. So the things I did last summer was all of a sudden we decided to buy Brandon. They decided we buying a house. So we had to, you know, work on buying a house. I went, I had classes. Um, I just, I gave a, a whole weekend of parties and then had to pack up and move. My move took so much out of me. Didn't do it well. It was a whole lot going on. And then I've been, you know, rushing ever since. Been sick a few times. Got hit in the head. Almost had a concussion from work. It's been a, it's been a school year. <clears throat> but I feel like this summer is going to be my summer of me and just enjoying it. And cause somebody asked me, my, my coworker asked me, what are you doing? I said, girl, I'm relaxing this summer. I'm about to be in the yard. Y'all going to see a lot. We're going to do a lot of lives in the yard. You know, I'm just going to be sitting in my yard, just minding my business, staying hydrated. I'm going to do some walks on the walk, ride my bike. Am I going someplace? I was planning on it, but I got other things that I've been doing and spending my money on around the house, and I'm okay with that. It's going to, so I'm going to have a really good, relaxing staycation. I'm going to do a few things around Chicago, maybe take myself to tea. I think I want to go do tea um, at this place called the London House, maybe the Drake. Um, just have high tea, go, and go to the King's Spot and do a whole day of just all of that do things like that work on my house because i'm not rushed and it's not like just the weekend i'm going to enjoy my six seven weeks off i don't even know how many weeks i got off now and breathe because i because i i really have been rushing 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 and i want to say this so if you are doing the same thing and I, of course a lot of you don't have that time off like i do because I teach and I need it because these kids drive me crazy. But but take some time to figure out a way to breathe and slow down. And, you know, because we all, you know, the, the pandemic got us all into self-care. But really, are we doing it now? No, we're really not because we're so busy living our lives again and getting caught up in that rat race again. So take some time to breathe. And I do mean breathe, find some time, go walk, take a walk, do what you need to do for you. Not for everybody else, but for you. All right. So now that was that, I got off my soapbox. Now let's talk party girl fragrances. Now, when I think of party girl fragrances, I, I, these are very specific. And the way I know what they are, are these have a champagne, most of, they have a bubbly effervescence to them, primarily because they all have a champagne note, right? So they have this kind of like bubbly, hey, happy vibe to me. So these are the ones that I'm going to say party girls. Now, of course, there's other party fragrances, but these are just like, hey, and they're not, 
I'm not even going to say <clears throat> everybody's not going to be wearing them because let's just be honest. We are the crazy people who own all these fragrances. We are the ones that know about all these fragrances. The majority of people we know don't know shit about these fragrances, y'all. Tell the truth. The majority of people around you don't know about it. The people you know who know about all this and talk about these are overhyped and all this other bullshit is us. And the people who really in the fragrances. Otherwise, you're going to go out and smell good to everybody. So let's do it. <clears throat> let's talk about the one that everybody's talking about right now. Loving it. You know, it's like the, the party girl, the it girl. All right, so let's start with this one. This is the it girl of the summertime. You're going to hear a lot about her this summer. She's going to disappear because, you know, people, we so fickle in the fragcom. All the women are going to be talking about pink me up. And then next year, they're going to act like, oh, they're going to declutter it. I promise you. 17, um, 17 out of 20 going to declutter this shit. But anyway, this is pink me up. I, of course, wanted it because it was pink. But it's also this, I've already said something about this. This is the party girl fragrance. It really is. So I'm not even going to go back. I'm not even going to bother myself with trying to do this over again. I'm just going to, I'm going to put in my original conversation about Pink Me Up and why it's such a fun party girl fragrance. And we're going to put it in right now. This is Atelier Des Ors Pink Me Up. Now this is newer. This just came out this year um, or the end of last year. But let me tell you, this is some, this is, this is, this has got a champagne note. It's got some berries in it. It smells for real like, like a champagne vibe. It's it's very it's giving like cocktail. It's got some. It's got floor, fruit. It's got rose and orange blossom in it. But you really get this like effervescence, bubbly. This just seems like you would be happy wearing this. This is just a happy fragrance, and you would be happy like if you were having a party. This would be a perfect party fragrance especially if you're the hostess because it comes off like hi you know it seems like you should just be smiling at everybody greeting everybody and you would just smell like the bubbly sweet hangout hostess that you're doing so like if i was like have your charcuterie party at home have your charcuterie party you know in the springtime you got your charcuterie boards out and you're hanging out and you're just having you know champagne cocktails and wearing this and you will be like you will you will be exuding the vibe of the evening wearing this okay so there was me talking about pink me up because listen i'm trying to work smarter not harder now i'm not trying to re recreate some conversation i'm just gonna take some old conversation splice it in and we good to go and i think that works i think it works because sometimes i think that that those first times i talk about things are my most thorough and and so why try to change it if i feel like that was a good conversation about something i'm just gonna go and splice it in honey i'm going to splice it in i'm just letting you know okay <clears throat> just so you know that's that's the that's that's how i work that's how i roll <laughs> okay now next up is this um is this one right here and this is alma pure by moresque this also has like a berry note in it but what it has it has um lime blossom so it's kind of got this zingy citrusy vibe to it so this is a very when i think about these fragrances they have this like bubbly effervescence and that's exactly what this has it has a bubbly effervescence when you put it on and but it has and it has the rose so it seems like a, quite a few of them have rose but it has rose in it and it has the champagne note and as it dries down you get this musk and this patchouli so it's really, it really gives you this kind of fun, flirty, happy vibe. That's why I call these my party girls. Because when you walk in, you're going to, people are going to smell you and they're going to be feeling, it's going to be like, ooh, the party has come. The party has got here because you just smell like your sense is giving off party vibes. You're going to walk through the party and just be giving off this party vibe to people because it's like, these are like bubbly, effervescent, happy fragrances. All right, now this one is the newest one, and this is the most unisex of the of the bunch that I have here. And this is Tonka Zor 
by pearlescent parfums um now people i've been hearing on friday i've been in some groups and they're like, ah it's terrible ah, i can't stand it. okay not everybody's gonna like it i'm just gonna tell you that right now but the i love it it has a blueberry and champagne note on the beginning it does people are saying leans masculine to me it's just a unisex it's just straight unisex and i think sometimes when women are buying things like this they're expecting it to be super girly. It's going to be sweet and girly and feel like that. But no, this is unisex. It's going to smell delicious on anybody. But on a woman, you're going to get this blueberry and the champagne you note. Know? So it's like a blueberry champagne cocktail, right? And as it dries down, you get this tonka, you get this vanilla vibe. And so, and the blueberry stays on with some musk. It is quite beautiful and it is quite unique it is not for everybody i would suggest pearlescent parfums gallagher they do sell um um discovery sets and they do have you know where you can get samples so i would suggest sampling this because i would never say get this one mm -mm, because mm -mm, this ain't for everybody but if you like it and let me tell you though it gets the compliments when i was wearing it the compliments were coming they were coming out, but not everybody. So I, but in the first initial spray, it might be off putting, especially to the ladies, to the men, y'all going to love it. All right. So there's that. Now this is the most, this is the most, this, no, let me say that again. This is the most affordable, the cheapest, and the most never talked about fragrance that I'm about to talk to you about. I promise you, no one has talked about this one. You would not, you can look this up. Ain't nobody talking about this damn thing but me. This is Aubusson's Champagne Chateau. This is $15. This is Peach Nectar, Champagne, and Vetiver. That's the only notes that I could find on it. And it does. It is a Bellini. It's a Bellini. It is a Bellini, and it has that sparkly effervescence to it. If you like, want to dip your toe into this vibe, get this. This is on fragrance in it. I said I wanted to buy the rest of them because I have three, but I think there's three more. And I think I want to get them. And I was going to get rid of them, but I kind of like them because they're so likable. This is just a really sweet, peachy, champagne-y vibe. The vetiver does give it a little um, more, um, makes it a little less um bath and body works and more like a perfume i say this is like an elevated fine fragrance mist because it costs about the same anyway but it's like an elevated body spray and i say that because a is gonna last a little bit longer but that vetiver whatever else they got in here because it's more than just three notes it gives it a little more elegance than just the body spray it just lifts it up just elevates it just a little bit so yeah, this is, I love it. And I, I said I was going to pull these out and just be, I need to do a whole little TikTok on these. I said I should get them all and do a TikTok and be like, y'all, y'all tripping. These, y'all want a fragrance mix? Get these. Okay. I digressed. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. Now, this one is a bubbly effervescent. This one does not have champagne. And this is for somebody who doesn't want to smell like fruits and everything, but they want to still have that bubbly vibe. They want to have that effervescent, hey, I'm here. We're having a great time vibe. So I came up with a floral. Now, of course, this is my floral. So just remember this. All right. I'm sorry. This is Giardina Benacera's tuberose i'm trying to see if you can see that it's tuber it's just tuberose just tuberose but it's giardini benacera this is one of the houses of paolo terenzi and this it can be found on fragrance net i don't think i've seen it any place else maybe fragrance by gets it but it's on fragrance net. this is very inexpensive but the reason why i said this is because it has a it has a effervescence to it. This is a really good, I've always said this is a really good tuberose for the summertime, for the warm weather, because it has this lightness to it. So it, even though it doesn't have any notes in it that are like, like citrusy or anything, it gives this kind of like, it gives this kind of um, light watery vibe. And it does have um, water jasmine, uh, an apricot and orange in it so it has this like kind of fruitiness to it but not too fruity 
it's really quite stunning and light, airy, and gorgeous for the springtime and summertime. And it does give off this really, because I even the very first couple of times I wore this, I was like, oh my God. I was just feeling like I should be like dancing someplace. That's how I felt it. And I was like going on my way to work, kind of like, oh God. And it was like, I got in the early fall and it was like school was starting. I was like, okay, I need a pick me up. And it was like my pick me up. So that is Tuberose by Giardina Benacera. All right, y'all. That's it. That's all. I've done a little rant. I've done a little conversation. Let's just go on hoes. Keep the conversation going. Tell me whatever you want to talk about. Tell me some stuff on how you're going to be relaxing the summer. Because summertime, even though not everybody's off, we all take some, we all should take some time to relax and enjoy this good weather. If you are in, you got some good weather. All right, y'all. And what are your party girl fragrances? Let me just, did I forget to say that? Tell me your party girl fragrances, hoes. Tell me your party girl fragrances. All right. Be bold. Be, I should have put that in the beginning. I mean, I'm like, but I expect y'all to watch to the end and then put your comments in or to put them in throughout, but then do these last comments and I'm still talking. So be bold, be brave, be fearless, be free. Have a wonderful day. Cause yes, I'm putting this up on Saturday so y'all can be ready for the weekend. Give, you know, in case y'all thinking about it, like, like y'all going to have it this weekend, but prepare for your next weekends. Gonna, if you want to get something new. I'm still talking. I'm out.